Absolutely delighted today to interview Eric, uh, the Senior Professor of Patient Safety. Oh, here we go. Young Coping? Young Coping? That's good enough. Young Coping University. Um, putting all that aside, I think, um, I mean, I'm new to safety. I'm an events organiser, a digital media specialist, but, um, you know, I'm very passionate about health and safety. Who wouldn't be? I mean, you know, staring down the face of quite troubling times, really. I think there's a little bit of mixed messaging, uh, a, an element of misunderstanding uh, to how simple perhaps um, some of the major challenges are and the raise of and the rise of major incidents and fatalities. Um, I guess the whole uh, misconception of safety and the mismessaging of the importance uh, and the secrets, particularly around strengthening the resilience of potentials. And I know you um, did a fantastic workshop at HSE UK Congress this week. Thank you so much for coming, uh, which demonstrated some of the ethos of, of safety um, and some of the challenges around uh, reducing the unwanted and, un, and harmful events um, and looking at eliminating them to, to zero accidents and changing the theories around how do we perhaps demonstrate um, investigating uh, when things are going well in a nutshell, when things are going bad, which is traditionally what we're doing a lot. Have I got that right? That's absolutely right, yeah. Superb. Well, there are, for the benefit of the viewers that weren't there, I, I've actually got a question outside of the questions, which perhaps could maybe sort of demonstrate um, for us your ethos around the transition from the way that perhaps safety professionals are working right now to the way we, you think practically we should be approaching safety. Well, I think you already hinted at it, but it, it, we, I mean, we all want to avoid accidents and harm and injury and personally and, and in work and in companies and in nations, of course. And traditionally, we've sort of done that by looking at what went wrong and say, how can we prevent that? And, and I see that every time something happens in Denmark, where I'm from, uh, on a national level, the government says, oh, we, have, we need to have a new law or a new rule. So we make sure it doesn't happen again in the future. But I think the point is you cannot become safe by preventing things from happening, but you can turn it around and say, how can we make sure that it goes well yeah. instead of how can we prevent it from failing? Uh, also because if you, if you put all your eggs in the preventing from failing basket, then you are investing in making sure that something does not happen, uh, which doesn't create any profit. But if, if you turn it around and say, how can we make sure that it goes well? Then you're investing in making sure that things happen that you would like to happen, which mm -hmm. actually creates a profit. So I think from that point of view, uh, it, it just makes more sense to look at things going well and, and try to, to make sure that more things go well. But, but that requires that we look at things going well, which we traditionally haven't done in safety. We've only looked at accidents.